Hi guys. All right, I have a new stamp for me. This is the Path to the Barn. And it comes with the full stamp. And then it has these two little stamps that you can see here. And you can use them for bushes. You can use them for foliage. So I think I'm going to make a winter card with this. You know, we always need some more Christmas cards. So I have it set up in my Misty. The paper that I'm using is just some gray card stock. And the reason I'm using gray is, again, I want this winter look to it. So let's see how it turns out with just using different color cardstock. I think I'm going to use Copic markers today. Um, yeah, and let's get into it. So I'm going to stamp with some alcohol-friendly ink. This is the Spectrum Noir Finesse ink in Noir Black. stamped out pretty good. I'm going to do it one more time just because there's a lot of details in this one. side. All right. And like I said, we'll just get into it. I have a variety of Copic markers, Spectrum Noir markers. Um, even have some of the Arteza markers. So we'll just mix and match here. I'm going to start with the barn. is called light mahogany. I don't know why, but I just always like to see red barns. I guess it just kind of reminds me of my childhood a little bit. Not that I grew up near any barns or anything, but <laughs> I do live in Pennsylvania. <laughs> That was DR4, which I'm assuming is dark red 4. I'm going to go back in with the mahogany and just blend some of that out. Okay, pretty good. All right, let's work on our fence a little bit. I imagine this is a worn out fence. This is Copic E35. And I'm going to use that same color and fill in some of our tree here. Okay, going with a little bit darker brown. This is E57, which is called light walnut. 
going to go into the darker areas of the fence. And again, some more in the tree. And this is YR24. Just going to go in and blend all of those colors together. Okay. Now I want to do the pathway, and I want the pathway to kind of look a little muddy. I'm going to go with some warm grays. This is warm gray number three. Because if we're going to act like we have some snow here, we want it to look like this path has been used. It's muddy. Some snow tracks in there. Now for my snow, I'm just going to use some of the cool grays. So we have C0, C1, C3, and C5. So I'm going to start with the roof here. Just did some C0 going to do my rolling snowy hills in the back. Pick some C3 again, highlight some of those snowy hills. Because unfortunately, snow is not always just white. It gets dirty. I'm imagining out in this farmland out here that the snow has been blown around. And again, one of the things I love about these cards is that the Illustrator has already given us so much detail that you don't need to do a lot. Just adding little pops of color here and there, and that's it. You really don't need a lot. Now, for the sky, I do want it to be kind of a cloudy looking sky. So this is, again, why I started on gray. Just see here, this might be a little too dark. Oh yeah, that's a little too dark. I was going to use neutral three, but you know what? I think I'm going to use some of this neutral down here. All right, so I'm not done yet. We are going to add some snow here. So I have my Marley snow pen. I don't know if I have a newer one. I do want to do a little bit in the sky though, so let's see here. This is BG000 I'm using. Just giving some color to that sky. It's very, very faint, but once it dries, it's a very light, light blue.
give you that a second to dry back. Slight tint of blue there. All right, back to the Marby snow pen. Where did I put it? Oh. All right, what I'm going to do with the Marby Snow Pen is I'm going to get it started just by depressing it on this piece of paper here. I probably should get in the, a new one. Do I have a new one? Nope. I think I gave it away in the giveaway box. Once you get it going, I'm just going to dab some on the roof here. I'm going to put a lot of it around the bottom of the um, barn here because we want it to look like, you know, these are snow banks. The heavier you put the application on, the puffier it's going to be when you set it. And I want it to be on top of my rocks here. Top of my fence post. Okay. of the tree here. Really want to load it up. Whoops. Now you can leave it like that and it just looks like opaque pen. What we're gonna do is we're gonna heat it up. So we're gonna take our heat tool. That looks pretty good. We have some snow, but I want it to be a little bit more. So let's add some more over here. I wish my pen hadn't died. This is why this pen is so much fun because you can really get a lot of snow out of it. I'm gonna get another one. And it's called the Marvy Snow Marker. Um, and I think that we are empty. We're done here. Right. Well, I don't feel that my scene is snowy enough, so what I'm going to do is going to try to open my marker, but that's not going to happen. Okay, so we're going to step it up a notch. Bring our little spray box in. Put our little scene in there.
I have some Sheer Shimmer Sparkle Spray. Now, if you wanted to, if I had my snow marker, I would have put drops of snow on there. You could also go through and do it with um, puff paint or um, if you have um, the flocking or the, um, what do you call that? Blah. Puff, puff embossing powder from Hero Arts um, or Brutus Monroe. I think they call it Marshmallow works great you can do that but I think for this one we're gonna leave it pretty simple and I'm just going to spray it with some of this shimmer spritz and that'll give it a light dusting shimmer we can heat that a little bit white gel pen and I'm just going to just kind of go over these trees just real random should have did that before I spritz it but it's okay We have this really nice winter scene very easily colored we're just using a couple different colors and there's a whole lot of sparkle there let me get the light on it for you guys there you go see that and the puff embossing powder can you guys see that how puffy it looks it's very 3d like there is real snow on that image okay and again, the stamp set I used is the Path to the Barn stamp set. If you guys have any questions, post them down below. If you like this video, I appreciate your thumbs up. Once again, thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.